Now there's a set of instructions and you're also going to learn a little bit about teamwork today. There's five parts involved in making a paper car. Um, three paper components, two axles and four wheels. First thing we need to do is take the cars out of their packaging. We'll start with the engine housing, which is uh, where the CO2 cylinder is housed. This is meant to be a box um, that holds the cylinder. So it's purely a matter of folding up the engine housing on both sides. Uh, we bend these two tabs in, then fold this component underneath. Fold it over. So in a sense this is our engine housing. And we need to also fold these components underneath. And they'll stay in place once we attach them to the body. But in a sense it's looking like a box. Put that to the side. Uh, we're starting on the chassis, which is probably the most important component of it. Again, it is fundamentally a box. So we just fold up the box. Um, so we have a box. It's quite simple. There is actually a tag on the bottom of the box allows us to clip the top and the bottom faces together. So we have a box. Now if we start at what we call the front end of the car, again this just folds over like a box. And to make that stay together, we actually take on our wheels here, we have two bearings, that we'll call. We take those bearings and purely by clicking them into those uh, holes and then into the body, we'll hold the front of the car in place. Same on the other side. So there's the front of the car made up ready to go. Now at the back end the same thing happens by folding the ends down and around. But when we put this one together, we have to do two things. Uh, again, we need two bearings that come off the, wheel sit, off the wheel kits. And we have to push this housing again on top of there and clip it all together in one go. You must make sure that the hole is pointing outwards. Um, again, I would get these bearing housings and put them in the, the bearings put them in the engine housing to start with. And then on the body, take the engine housing and connect it to the body in the same way that we did at the front of the car. Same on the other side. We have the, fundamentally have the chassis uh, together in one piece with a hole at this end. And you can, if you like, now also make the body at this stage and assemble the body. Uh, the body is uh, again quite simple. There's a set of fold lines that we can just pre fold um, around, and this is meant to slip on over the top of the car. So we fundamentally have a body here and the way we assemble that is purely it slips in behind the bearings 
on each side of the car. Again on the other side. At this point in time is uh, probably a good time to use a little bit of sticky tape. So I'll grab some sticky tape I have already here and just stick the body um, together. Around those joint lines. The other thing to do is on, on the nose, we just want the, body, the nose to come down a little bit and again, a little bit of sticky tape on the nose will hold that in place. We fundamentally have our car body here, uh, capable of taking a cylinder in the end there, and that's strong enough to withstand many runs down the track. Next phase is the wheels. See, the wheel kits uh, actually come with uh, two fat tyres and two thinner tyres. Take those off. So it's always good to have the fat ones on the back and the thin ones on the middle. And the process now is to, uh, what I usually do is assemble uh, the axles uh, without putting them on the car to start with. And this will take a little bit of uh, strength. So we have a body uh, with the, the bearings in place. We have two skinny wheels for the front and two fat wheels for the back. And it's basically a matter of just assembling uh, the axles uh, through. And if you're uh, quite dexterous, that happens straight away. <laughs> um, if not, you can look inside. There we go. So rear wheels, same again with the front wheels, which are a bit thinner. There we go. we fundamentally have our car finished there. You actually have a hole in the top here so that if the students would like to build themselves a person to go in there or put a small Lego man in there, it could fit in that part of the car. The car's now ready to go. Um, it's fed onto the track by the fishing line that goes through the, the end and out the back so it's safe and kept on the track and we're away.